UValleyRadio.net, good morning. I'm Robert Miguel, and we are getting geared up for a big weekend. It's Easter weekend, first of all, so that's awesome. Praise the Lord. Um, but we're going to have a lot of fun Saturday in beautiful Concan, Texas. Fenders and food trucks on the Frio. And with me to talk all about it, give us all the deets, I've got the producer of Fenders and food trucks on the Frio, Devin. Welcome. Hello. Hey, Devin, what you up to? Actually, I am teaching school today what? and working on car show at the same time. Ooh, nice. Look at you. Ah, staying busy, yeah. man. It's, it's like all of us. Oh, we got to wear all got to wear all these hats these days, don't we? Right. Exactly. That's life. So, yeah, Devin, let's go and talk about you. You're a Uvaldian, and you've been doing this um, Fenders and Food Trucks on the Freeway thing. You've been very heavily involved in the River Region in the past, uh, and, and you kind of... Uh, Took the bulls by the horn on this event. So let's go ahead and talk about you as a person of Uvalde. Give us your background. Yes. Um, so I am a Uvaldean, born and raised, 37 years old. And so I've been heavily involved with the Chamber, Texas Hill Country River region. Um, you name it, I've done it. So I'm full all about Uvalde. And, and you're right. I um, began working with Texas Hill Country River Region, and we started doing, um, you know, festivals and trying to bring tourism to Uvalde County. And my family said, we love car shows, we're car people, and we took the event on as a uh, personal mission. And so we still partner with Texas Hill Country River Region and in bringing, you know, an event to Uvalde County. Well, it's a fantastic event. I know I was at your very first one, and it was... Was huge. I mean, I know you had like you had like record breaking numbers, didn't you? And it was just, I mean, fantastic. So, so give us some details of, of some of the past success uh, for this event. Um, for our very first event, we brought in ninety seven cars Ooh. in the show. Um, at the time, that was the largest car show in the South Texas region, and so that really just gave us the green light for I think this is what people like mm-hmm. and it really helped that we had I mean, so many food options and we also have an egg hunt so really it's an event not only for car enthusiasts but for the whole family and that was our main point point. Um, then our second year when um, my family and Andy's you know did it um, on our own, we brought in um, 98 cars. Wow. We're, we're really <laughs> aiming to break that 100 car goal. We so we're trying to. We've got lots of friends that have brought one car in the past two years. Now they're saying we're bringing two cars this year. So we're hoping that this year we break that 100 car goal. Excellent, excellent stuff. Well, it's great to see this thing kind of grow exponentially year over year. So I'm sure this year is going to be awesome. Looks like the weather is going to be beautiful. And uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's talk about this year's festivities. Again, it's this Saturday, April 8th. Andy's on River Road in Concan. Um, I know starts off around 10.30, but give me give me the play-by-play, the rundown of what we can expect that day. Okay, so yes, you're right. Um, you're going to drop the needle at 10.30, and you're going to kick off our event for us. That's right, I'm emceeing. Uh, What's up? Yeah. Yeah, we're so excited about that. Um, and then at 11, we have Donovan Oscar Amaya. He's going to bring in an acoustic Texas country red dirt feel. So that's always a really big hit in the um, river region. So mm-hmm. we're excited to see him. He played his first content show at the Freedom Fest. And so when he said that he was available, we said, you know, bring it on. Nice. So then uh, we have at 12 o'clock, we've got Siphon. Siphon is a student band from Studio 3. So while we're talking entertainment, I will tell you about our partnership with Studio 3, if mm-hmm. that works. Absolutely. Okay, so what we're doing is we started the Keeping Live Music Alive Coalition. And so what that is, is um, this is probably my 10th event in the River Region, so in Uvalde County. And every event, I try to bring in a student band from Studio 3 in Uvalde. They come in, they get their feet wet, they decide they're in love with music and love with performing, and they take that on and they become a band, not just a student band, but a full-on band. Um, at our, I, our first event, we had Surge come, and they were our headliners. Now they are a recording band. They mm-hmm. just did um, a tour, goodness, uh, California. Oh, yeah, they played um, Hollywood, Hollywood, absolutely. Um, yeah. York. Yeah, that's where that partnership began. So now we're going to um, continue that partnership with the coalition. So the proceeds from our event will go towards sponsoring student scholarships 
So students that currently are enrolled with Studio 3, um, they will go through some type of application process. We're still working on that bit, but the proceeds from our events um, currently and moving forward will sponsor the student scholarship. That is fantastic. You know, any any organization that's supporting the arts, especially on a local level, you know, you, you got my uh, admiration and respect there. So we definitely need to, to do more for that. So you got a student okay. band, um, Siphon, and then I know you got... Siphon will be taking the stage at 12 o'clock. Okay, cool. Very good. And, and they kind of do like a an 80s, 90s hard rock kind of vibe, right? Like a... They do. Yeah, they very do. nice. 80s, 90s, they also did Freedom Fest, and they bring out a huge following. Um, you know, some of these um, students that are up on stage, you look and you think, you know, they're not, they're not, uh, you know, taller than a, a little grasshopper, but then they come <laughs> out and they blow you away with yep. how talented they are. And you're right, they got, they got the people, they got the fans. All, I've seen them uh, with all the the parents and the aunts and uncles and cousins and and just legit fans wearing their siphon shirts and black on a hot summer day. Phenomenal, yes, phenomenal. <laughs> their following is they're, they've got some diehard fans um, as well as um, aneurysm. Aneurysm is their all girl band. Mm-hmm. Um, they do more of the pop punk pixie. Um, they've done Green Day. Um, I heard there might be some Nirvana coming. I'm not real sure because Ooh. the last show I saw. They were kind of throwing out some, you know, new ideas. So I'm, I'm ready to see what they're going to bring. But they're going to hit the stage at one o'clock, and that's their again. They're all girl band. They go up there and they just rock your socks off. I'm excited to see that because I, I know that they've kind of got there, there's there's a weird thing, and I've got a teenage daughter that's. You know, for some reason, like that 90s grunge and like pop punk really resonates with certain girls in in that demographic, I think. So uh, it's nice to see them kind of, you know, uh, carrying, you know, that mantle, I guess, you know, moving it forward. So it's pretty cool. Absolutely. And they've got their, they've all got their own style. They're not just one style band. Every female in the, in the band has her own uh, persona, her own just vibe. They're like a, they're like the Spice Girls of rock. <laughs> I am going. I'm going to let them know you said that. I they would say that is the best. Oh my goodness! All right, so so that's going to be great. So you got um, again siphon, then aneurysm, and then who's headlining this thing? Our headliner. We are thrilled to finally share that. So our headliner for Fenders and Food Trucks 2023 is Project 99. Yeah. Project Yes, Project 99 is a group of locals. Um, we will call Wimberly Falmer a local because we've um, officially adopted her. So <laughs> she cool. comes um, via, well, she's a Georgia peach, but she is now a Uvaldian. And then we have um, Adam is on drums, and then we have Carlos Lada. He's a uh, bassist, and then we have Dan Piles, which is a vocalist, guitarist. They've been friends for years. They're old right. coyotes. They've been in bands together. Then they got a hold of Wimberly. They brought Carlos on board. So they just jam. They jam out. They've talked about playing together um, in a, a live situation. And it really it hadn't happened until we just started talking and said, you know what? I think your band needs to be at Fenders and Food Trucks. That's so awesome. So this is their official first performance as Project 99. The world premiere in Uvalde, Texas, Project 99. That's awesome. And and, and for those who don't recognize, Adam is the the gentleman that you'll see when you walk into the Uvalde Area Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. So uh, You see him and you think, oh, Adam, so sweet. (laughs) Right. Yes, you know, help me with this and that. You don't think that the night before he was jamming out, but that's who Adam is. But you know what? That's that's how guys like him stay so chill because they've got the drums to take it out on. (laughs) That's very true. Very true. And so I asked, you know, Project 99, give me the history. What is that about? So between all of the band members, between all of them, they have 99 projects that they've been part of, whether it's a band, whether it was kind of a solo gig, whether they um, played instruments for some type of recording or they provided sound for um, different bands. They have 99 art projects 
music art projects between them, which makes up the Project 99 name, which I think goes right along with our Keeping Live Music Alive Coalition and our aim to really just do just that, is we want to keep live music in front of people alive to get, you know, get kids involved. Um, you know, I see, I saw that lady at the, you know, I just saw Wimberly at the um, grocery store this morning, and then I'm going to see her rocking out on stage on Saturday. That's right. what we want these kids to see is these people are just commoners like you and me. They found their love for art, found their love for music, and they're they're doing it. And that's what we want kids to see and do, and that's part of why we started the coalition. So, okay, so that's the music. Let's go ahead and talk about the car show now, because um, I know that you've got at least like 30 categories of awards for these these cars. Uh, g- give me give me at least uh, the bullet points of the big categories and, and what's up for, for grabs here, bragging rights and wins. Okay, so we have 30 categories of awards. And so that's a first and second place for each category. Um, You know, just, you know, Mustangs, Mopars, motorcycles, custom trucks. I do have that list on our Fenders and Food Trucks Facebook page. So if there's anybody that needs to know, you know, is there a category for me? Absolutely. If it's not written down, we have awards for what we call um, an orphan. It's an orphan award. You don't know where you fit, but we <laughs> want to see your car. We want to see your project. So if you don't find a category for yourself, please come. Don't worry about it. We are finding a space for you. We also have the six custom show awards, which is, you know, longest distance, um, patriotic presentation, which is huge for us. We mm-hmm. are all very much involved in and supporting all of our um, current soldiers, our active soldiers, and our warriors that are now at home. Um, so we do have the most patriotic presentation, which some of these folks, Robert, go all out. Wow, yeah. And we've got the flags and the banners and you name it. And so that award is always so hard to judge because we have such patriotic patrons. It, it really is great. That's and then, of fantastic. course, everybody loves to see the best of show. Mm-hmm. And best of show is, is just that. You know, we get a tally of everybody's votes, and it's the best of the best. And it's always it's always different. Um, you know, you think you may not be a contender, but every single person has an option to win best of show. And that's... That's the ultimate prize right there. Again, we're talking to Devin here. She is a producer of uh, Fenders and Food Trucks on the Frio. The event is this Saturday. starts at 1030. Goes till about what, what time do you think this is going to wrap up? Maybe four or five or even earlier than that? Um, awards at three. That will probably take about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. And then we're going to have another treat of Project 99 coming back on to do an encore and they're going to wrap up the show. So I would say it'll end roughly at about 4 o'clock. Right on. Okay, well, it's going to be a great day. That main website is going to be floatthefrio.com, right, for for the general base of information and registration? That is correct, yes. Floatthefrio.com is where you can register your car or your child. Now, you can find Fenders and Food Trucks on the Frio on Facebook, and what's the best way to find, as far as what you're doing, Devin, between 4Cs and Fenders and Food Trucks, what are your social media handles and websites and whatnot? That will be um, Fenders and Food Trucks on the Frio. We have a group page, and from there we're going to expand. We have some new ideas about some car-related shows in the fall um, that we're working with at Andy's on, and so we're looking at you know having a show and shine and some different car-related um, themes. Now, floatthefrio.com, they also have a bike rally that is well attended, and that's something that they're doing annually. So between the two, uh, Four Seas Classic Car and Andy's on River Road, we do have a lot happening. So I, you know, ask you to, to follow us on Fenders and Preachers on the Frio on Facebook and then floatthefrio.com. We've got a lot going on. A lot going on, so we're we're excited. I'm excited too, man. I can't wait to get out there and have a, a blast out there uh, in ConCan. Now, before we wrap it up, Devin, let's go ahead and thank as many sponsors. I know a lot of people came together to make this happen. I know you've mentioned a couple in passing, but let's make sure and mention everybody that's kind of have some stake in this event. Yes, 
Absolutely. So our biggest thank you is going to go to Andy's on River Road. They're our hub. They're our parent location. And so working with them would not, I mean, it would not be able to happen without a location. So we're thankful for them and to Andy Beard for just showing us some love. Um, we've also got Texas Hill Country River Region is our presenting sponsor. So without them, again, fenders and food trucks would not be happening. So you can find them at visituvalvecounty.com. And then our main stage sponsor and entertainment sponsor is Continental Tires. So you'll see once you get to the event, we have a Continental Tires sound stage, and they'll be bringing some really cool cars that they have on their in their hidden facility that no one gets to see Ooh. unless you are at fenders and food truck so come out and see those and it's a you know a huge thank you to them for bringing our our music and then we also have um our easter egg hunt sponsors which is uvalde cabinetry they this is their third year partnering with us so they bring the eggs they bring the candy they bring the goodies and so we thank them for continuing to to supply those. And we also have Walmart that last year brought us pallets of eggs as well. So Walmart really has made huge things happen for us. So without any of these folks, this would not be happening. So on behalf of Four Seas Classic Car, we thank them for really joining with us and bringing our vision to life. Well, thank you to all the sponsors in advance. I know you guys are all coming together to put on a fantastic event again. It's Fenders and Food Trucks on the Frio this Saturday, April 8th, 1030 till about 4-ish. Devin, thank you so much for all this information. I'm so stoked to get on out there and see some awesome cars and hear some great live music and just watch the kiddos having a good time in just one of the most beautiful areas, you know, in Southwest Texas, uh, the river regions, just always just just being there is just amazing you know just be- absolutely <laughs> so anything absolutely. anything else you got to get off your chest here well we just want to thank you for being the official mc of fenders and food trucks and so all of our friends and fans of robert miguel and <laughs> uvalde radio come out and see him in person if you have not put a face to the name because he's the official mc of our event and we thank you robert for everything you do for us and we can't wait to see everybody on saturday i am so looking forward to being out there and uvalde radio.net will be out there with some prizes. You'll have a chance to win tickets to the Poti Strawberry Festival. We've got some Cactus Jack bull riding tickets. And if, if, since you have a car, if you have a car out there, that means you probably don't mind making a road trip. I will have passes to the Scarborough Renaissance Festival in Waxahachie. So if you can fly, we'll buy. So that's just a few of the giveaways we're going to be doing out there Saturday. So, all right. I think it's going to wrap it up, Devin. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robert. You have a good one. We'll see you soon. All right. And that's going to wrap it up here with Devin from Fenders of Food Trucks on the Frio. We are UvaldiRadio.net.